Hi, Aza here. In previous tutorial, we learned about color range command. So we have a chance today to look at remaining option in the color range command dialog box. Let's look at the image. I would like to select yellow two lips and her lips only. So we can leave them in color while converting the rest of the image to black and white. Like this. That's so cool. Let's delete this one. Let's select color range command. Let's go to menu, select color range command. Let's make initial selection. Just click on yellow tulip and click on add to sample, add more color selected, some here and also some here, hair lips. Okay, we are good to go. Let's look at other options here. Under preview window, we have selection. Selection means to view gray scale preview. The next one is image. Image means to view your image in preview window. Down here, we have selection preview. Selection preview control what we see in our document window. By default is set to none, means we are seeing our actual image in document window. You can click here and there is a drop down menu. The first option is gray scale. If we look in our document window, rather than seeing the image, we are seeing full size of gray scale preview of our current selection. The next one is black mat. Black mat display the actual image itself against a solid black background. And then we have white mat. We'll display the selected area of image against solid white background. And the last one is quick mask. There's a red mask over your document window. Let's back to the normal. We have localized color here. We can use this option to limit the area in photo where Photoshop will look for matching color. As soon as we turn on localized color, another option called range become available. With range set to 100%, Photoshop threw the entire image for area of matching color to add our selection. But as we lower the range value by dragging the slider to the down, we tell Photoshop to look only at area of photo that are closer to the area we clicked on and ignore the area too far away from where we clicked. As you can see here, it's good to go. There is one last important thing. Currently, those two lip and her lips selected. But what I actually need is for everything except those two lip to be selected. In simple word, I need to invert my selection. For that, we have invert option here. Let's click on, click on OK. To convert this image to black and white, we click here and go to black and white command. Click here. It's cool. As you may notice, we have to change some color here and refine layer mask to include or not include some of these color changes on our image. If you don't want area to be included, just grab your brush tool and paint white. And let's go grab the brush tool, click here, and paint white here. As you can see, when I paint white here, all those orange that I don't want to include it convert to white. Some area here, some area here, whole area. Here, that's good. That's good. That's good. Let's do also some part remain here. Let's do this one also. Good. Mm -hmm. This part that's also here. We are good to go. Also, in black and white command, you can control how much white or how much black in your image. The cool thing about adjustment layer is our original image is remain untouched. You didn't lose any possibility. As you can see, when I turn off the layer, 
the original image is still here. So in this tutorial, we learn more about color edge command option. Also, we learn about adjustment layer black and white command. I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.